morning. This Sunday's Gospel comes from the Gospel of Mark, one of the four Gospels that we read uh, from every Sunday. And they're the stories about Jesus leading up to his death and resurrection and the, and the promises of God's love for us now and for always. This is a year where we're focusing on the way of love, which is the life that Jesus calls us to live. So I hope you'll listen with me and think about how this connects us to the way of love. Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Turn and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting in a net into the sea because they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed Jesus. As Jesus went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed Jesus. This is the Gospel of the Lord. The two important parts of the way of love in this story, the first is that Jesus has come to proclaim the good news, that God loves us, that whatever we do, wherever we are, God loves us always. And so we can know that God loves us. And it's important that we know that and that we tell other people of God's love, of the life with God, of the gifts of God, of the presence of God, and especially that God has invited us as part of his team. That's what the story is about. Jesus starts calling other people, Andrew and Peter, James and John, because he knows that for everyone to know about the love of God and the way of love, he needs lots of people like James and John and Andrew and Peter and people like you and me to live the way of love, to show other people the way of love. Now, we weren't with Jesus in his earthly ministry, so we can't always know that he is calling us, but he's calling you. He says, come, follow me, and I will make you fishers of people. By that he means, if you come follow in the way of love, then you will be able to tell others about the way of love, and the whole world will know God's love for them and God's love when we love one another. So as we walk this way of love, I want you to listen for Jesus' call on your life to come follow him in the way of love, and then to call other people, and other people, and other people, so that all the world may know God's love and may be following him in the way. Amen. It's, it's stand up now. It's time to say together the Nicene Creed, which will come up on your screen uh, with me. So you ready? Here we go. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, <clears throat> begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. <clears throat> he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Well done, kids. God, we give you thanks for this time and the chance to worship together. We look forward to the time when we can all be together in the choir room once again. Now be with us as we join our parents once again for the prayers of the people for today. In your name we pray. Amen. 